Hi everyone, it's Sada Makeup and I welcome back to my channel. I will be doing another Rotis review for Ailpa product and this is from Maybelline and it's called the Creamy Mattes by Color Sensational. And if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts about this product, then keep watching. Alright, so ito yung pinaka product natin. Gusto ko yung pinaka container niya kasi frosted medyo catchy siya sa akin medyo may parang may pagka mystery type ang ang container if that even makes sense i don't know pero gusto ko yung container niya as i said uh, frosted but still uh, acrylic yung container and then silver yung kanyang um, holder or yung lipstick holder so that's really nice now, I got this from SM Watson, no, SM Department Store sa SM Marikina, and it was free, a free item, kasi they were having a sale back this time na buy to get one for free, and I purchased yung BB, uh, BB cushion nila, and also yung isang mascara na nire-review ko rin um, today, and since I got two products, they gave me one product for free and this is the product na libre nga ayun na nga ulit ulit lang di ba uh, anyway so the original price i think ang original price ito is 2.99 kasi ayun yung tag price niya uh, then according sa website meron 10 shades nitong product na to pero unfortunately konti na lang yung available na shades dun sa store nung time na nabili ko to or nakuha ko to so i just pick up ito for the purpose of the review um, and I'm not really fond of the shades kasi hindi naman, hindi lahat ng tao binabagayan itong shade na to. but anyways um, ang shade na nakuha ko is 690 and it's called the Siren in Scarlet and it's a red shade ayan medyo may pagka cool tone yung kanyang pagka red ayan so, let me do a very quick swatch. Yan. So, that's how the red looks like or yung shade. May amoy siya, pero yung amoy niya mabango. Parang ano, parang uh, vanilla. Yeah, vanilla yung kanyang scent para sa akin. Anyways, so... It claims to be very creamy and matte and I would say na really creamy yung product based on the swatch tapos uh, matte din yung finish niya although it doesn't claim to be transfer proof or anything this one is really matte compared dun sa una ko na review na velvet matte daw um, hindi kasi siya talaga matte finish eh more on satin finish siya para sa akin but this one is really truly matte so, excited ako i-try yan. And please note, again, hindi lahat ng bagay or hindi lahat ng tao binabagay nitong kulay na to. But unfortunately, ito na lang yung kulay na nagustuhan ko out of the available shades dun sa kanyang uh, counter during the time. So, please bear with me. Um, I hope hindi kayo masyadong judgmental pagdating sa kulay. Pero, sige, let's go ahead and push I push natin ito. Uh, before I apply this on my lips, I want to show you guys how my lips are looking as of the moment. Alright, so ito na yung lips ko. And as I mentioned, medyo may dryness ako. Especially on this right side, lower lip area. Kaya, matetest natin siya. So, I'll go ahead and start. Ilang grams ba to? Hindi ko sure kung ilang grams to eh. Pero, I think nasa... It's 4.2. 4.2 grams. A little... Um, bigger than the usual lip containers or lip products kasi nasa 3 to 4 grams lang ang usual lipstick. Alright, so na-apply ko na yung lipstick on my lips and I must say, super, super, super easy niyang i-apply. It glides on really well on my lips. And, um, hindi ako nahihirapan, walang tagging, walang kahit anong pag-hila um, sa lips ko. Although, I feel na in one swipe, hindi siya ganun ka-vibrant. Uh, definitely, when you apply it on your lips, hindi mabigat sa lips. Or, hindi mo ramdam na may lipstick ka. Hindi siya malagkit. 
talagang ano lang, okay lang siya sa akin. Hindi siya ganun kabigat. Hindi ganun kabigat ang feeling. Or literally, hindi mabigat yung feeling nung lipstick sa lips mo. So, that's a really good sign. Although, buildable yung color, I would say. Depende siya kung gano'ng mukha vibrant gustong i- you know, ilagay. So, so far, um, I'm liking how the lipstick is showing and um, hindi siya ganun kasamang tingnan. Well, sana, based on my opinion, parehas tayo ng opinion, um, hindi naman siya ganun kasagwa tingnan sa complexion ko. So, so far, I'm liking it. Hindi siya drying, but definitely not kiss-proof. Let's see, hindi siya kiss-proof. So, watch out for that, especially kapag meron kang toddler or infant uh, nakasama sa bahay, ingat ng konti sa paghahalik sa kanila, baka matransfer sila ng, ng lipstick. Um, but so far, so good. So, I will just continue wearing this throughout the day. Tingnan natin kung gaano katagal pa natin siya pwedeng, gaano katagal pa natin siya pwedeng isuot throughout the day. Although, medyo late na ngayon. Nag-start ako ng medyo late na. Actually, hindi medyo. Talagang late na. I will still, you know, continue doing this review. Let me get my phone. <laughs> So, ang oras natin, it's 2.58 in the afternoon. So, I'll check on you guys after a couple of hours to see how the lipstick is holding up. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is my first check-in para sa lipstick review na ginagawa natin from Maybelline. And ang oras natin, it's 5.40 in the afternoon. So, I think it's roughly around 3 hours since we applied yung lipstick. And after or before I head and film this check in i had my uh late lunch um i was eating noodles and clint was also snacking so we were eating together and i was drinking juice as well so eto na yung itsura ng lipstick ko after one i would say it's a full meal kasi noodles yon so yeah so eto siya and i must say i'm pretty much impressed with it kasi Vibrant pa rin yung kulay ng lipstick after one meal. Hindi siya nagwash off. Although, yung inner part ng lips ko, uh, medyo nag-start na siyang mag-fade. Uh, but, so far, intact. I would say, intact pa rin yung lipstick. What I really like about this lipstick is I can still spread the lipstick throughout my lips without, you know, making it look tacky or hindi maganda yung Itsura. Kasi may mga ganong lipstick, di ba? Kahit na um, obvious yung lips, you, when you try to do this on your lips, when you do that on your lips, sometimes hindi na maganda yung finish niya, di ba? But this one still looks good, I would say. Actually, I don't feel like I need to like retouch pa eh. So, I would really just leave it as it is for now. Though, please note na wala akong nakitang pagbibleed sa lipstick uh, or at the perimeters or outside perimeters ng lips ko wala siyang bleeding or anything such given the fact na noodles at napakainit ng panahon ngayon di ba? I'm loving this this lipstick by the way as of this time uh, yung mga dry patches ko hindi rin naman niya na-emphasize unless you really look closely on my lips pero from afar, from a distance okay pa rin siya so there you go, I will check on you guys on my final check-in and I'll share my final thoughts and verdict about this lipstick later. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is my final check-in para sa lipstick review na ginagawa natin for Maybelline. And ang oras natin ngayon, it's 9.34 in the evening. So I think nasa around 6 to 7 hours na since we applied yung lipstick early this afternoon. Without that shop, ito na ang itsura niya. I had my dinner. Ang kinain ko was uh, roasted chicken and of course rice and then juice, water. I would say na talagang marami ako nakain ngayong after na to, afternoon na to. <laughs> Pero surprisingly, kitang kita ko pa rin yung lip stain na naiwan ng lipstick sa aking lips. Intact pa rin yung, yung lipstick. Obvious na may lipstick pa rin ako. Pero, of course, if you guys look at it closely, obviously, nawala na yung inner rim area ng lipstick. So, 
with that being said, let me guys, uh, let me take you guys closer para makita nyo anong itsura ng lips ko after 7 hours without that job. see yung inner rim area ko totally faded na siya and I can now see na nagbe-bleed na siya on the corners of my lips like this one pero sa middle sections yung dito sa pinaka prominent na area um, hindi naman siya nagbleed para sa akin ha if makikita nyo dito sa lower lip area ko medyo na-emphasize na, na yung dryness ng lips ko kasi siguro um marami ng intake ng food na naganap. Wala na yung pinaka moisturizing effect ng lipstick sa lips ko. Kaya medyo, ayan, kita na yung mga ano. Tapos yung mga yung mga dry skin na medyo nag-flick out na obvious na rin siya. So, ayan. Now, I still want to do another test before I share my final thoughts about this product. I want to see kung ano yung magiging itsura ng lips mo kung i re apply mo siya without removing yung stain na naiwan from your first initial application. So, subukan natin siya, okay? mag re apply lang ako. So, na re apply ko na siya and uh, so far, hindi naman siya parang nag-patchy or hindi rin siya naging um, anong tawag ba dan yung namuumuo katulad ng nangyayari kapag matte lipstick or liquid lipstick ang ginamit mo. Um, this one does look exactly the same as how it looks like kapag first application mo pa lang. Um, yes, may bleeding pa rin. Of course, hindi naman mawawala yun dahil hindi naman natin talaga siya tinanggal. Pero yung vibrant ng color and how it feels on the lips is very comfortable. Hindi naman siya yung tipong parang um, uh, nasty yung feeling. So, I like it. Alright, so for my final thoughts about this product, let's start with the pros. I like that the product is locally available, of course, and marami yung shades na available na ino-offer nitong lipstick nito. As for the finish, it's really matte, I would say, and I like how creamy it is and easy to apply kasi talagang sobrang dali lang niya apply hindi mo hindi mo kailangan itag yung lips mo, wala kang tagging na mai-experience sa kanya. Definitely long lasting as you guys have seen from from the last few clips nitong video na to. Long lasting siya, but please note it will still depend kung anong shade ang kukunin niyo. It just so happens na red yung napili kong color and vibrant yung color niya and talagang nag-stain siya sa lips ko and tumagal siya. So I'm not really sure if ganun din ang magiging experience niyo kung ibang shade or something that is neutral yung makukuha yung shade. For this shade, I really like it. I didn't really expect na magugustuhan ko yung kulay niya kasi I'm not really a huge fan of red lipsticks. Um, as you guys probably have known, kasi never akong gumawa. If not, um, very seldom nyo ako makita na naka-red lipstick ako kasi hindi ko talaga... I feel na hindi ako confident kapag sumuot ako ng red lipstick kasi nga, I know for sure na hindi lahat ng skin tone binabagayan ito. I guess the only thing that you need to know is kung anong undertone ng lipstick ang babagay sa'yo. But for this, hindi naman siya medyo off sa akin. So, I hope you guys think about it the same way that I do. Pero, so far, I'm liking the finish. I like the, the color for this. Kaya titingnan ko kung pwede pa akong makahanap ng ibang shade. Maybe something that is... Uh, everyday color or something that can be worn for everyday purposes. So, tingnan natin. Kasi nga maganda yung shades and maganda yung variety ng shades nila. So, we will see about that. I also like the fact na isa to sa mga cheapest lipsticks na matte ang finish na available sa market. It's only for 299 So, what could go wrong, ba? Tapos, lalo ngayon na baka makuha nyo pa tong product na to na libre kasi nga meron silang buy to, get, buy to get one free. Baka, you know, you might be interested in trying this out. So, yeah, I really do recommend you guys try this out. If you have dry lips, usually dry lips green kasi naman ako, this lipstick is definitely a win for you kasi it's very moisturizing and creamy. 
hindi niya talaga ganun na emphasize yung dryness ng lips nyo kasi nga it has a very creamy texture hindi siya nagsisettle sa mga fine lines ng lips nyo or even in dry um, patches ng lips nyo so so that's a really good thing about this lipstick so yeah um, I can't really think of anything um, bad about this product given the fact na marami pa nga ilaman ito compared sa ibang regular na lipstick panalong panalo na to para sa akin so if you guys are interested or if you have tried this lipstick before, let me know in the comment section below. Tingnan natin kung um, same ba tayo na experience. If you have any questions about the product, let me know in the comment section below as well. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching everybody and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!